the clan needs to install 20 IP cameras in this community. 20 IP cameras is a small camera system, but it's facing two challenges. The first challenge is the distance. Those cameras are being located in a different place in this community. The minimum length between the cameras that are spot and this control room is about 300 feet. And the maximum length is about 2,000 feet. The second challenge is the power. The power source is unavailable in each of these set of spots. The client plans to use the fiber optic cables plus the solar power to build its IP camera systems. Technically, it works. Since the solar power systems can provide the power to these cameras, and the fiber optic cables can handle the long run between this camera and the control room. However, solar power system is a heavy power system. Now let's see what we need to come up with the solar power system. There are three key components in the solar power system. Solar panel, solar charge controller, and the battery. The solar panel will absorb the energy from the sunshine, convert it to the electricity power, and feed to this solar charge controller. This solar charge controller will charge this battery, meanwhile provides the DC power output for this IP camera. The client plans to use a dome camera. It consumes about 12 watt power. We need a second device called media converter to work with the fiber optic cable. The total power budget is about 15 watt. Based on this specification, we need to have at least 400 watt solar panels. We need two pieces large solar panels. We also need to double up these batteries to keep this camera running day and night. It's pretty large solar power system. Remember, this is just the solar power system for one camera. Since the client has 20 cameras, so he needs 10 to 20 set of these solar power systems. We also create multiple failure points. If one of these devices is failure, then we need to go to maintain the system. We would like to present a different solution, still use the fiber optic cable, but we use the composite fiber optic cable. We will send the DC low voltage power from the control room to each of these cameras. Now let's see how we can use the composite fiber optic cable to build this system. This is the factory pre-made composite fiber optic cable. The connector is being made in the factory with the pulling eye. I have removed the pulling eye. With the pulling eye, we can pull the cable over the conduits directly. Three copper wires are being integrated into this fiber optic cable. We will take two copper wires to send the low voltage power from the control room to the camera. We have the one grounding wire. This is the fiber optic terminal box working with this composite fiber optic cable. The connector on the top will deal with the power and the connector on the bottom is the copper to work with the fiber optical strand. Now let me give you a quick show how to connect this composite fiber optic cable. First we are going to put this composite fiber optic cable through this hole. We are going to take one group and connect this terminal to this coupler. And we will have to connect this copper wire to this two terminal and send the power from the opposite side. Finally, we also need to attach this grounding wire to this screw to get the grounding for the whole cables. The setup is quite simple, it's plugs and place, there are no need to make the connector. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the whole system with the rock mount. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We will have more showcase coming. First, let's see what we have in the rack. This is the 24 port fiber optical switch. There's 24 SIP slot. We will take this SIP slot to work with the IP cameras at the edge. The SIP slot is empty. We need another device called SIP transceiver. Let me remove this fiber optic cable and show you the SIP transceiver. The SIP transceiver will convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. We need 
20 SFP transceiver towards the 20 IP cameras at the edge. The second row is the power supply unit. We have the electric brick. It will control the AC power fitting to this power supply. The output is the low voltage DC 55 volt. The vo low voltage is fit to this fiber optical box. This is the punch cook going to the fiber optical switch on the top. Remember, inside of this box, we do have the composite fiber optic cable. We combine the optical signal and the power and go into the camera at the edge. This is the network video recorder. It's connecting to one of these adapters on this switch. The setup is quite simple. Basically, it's plug and play. Now, let's move to the edge and see how we connect one camera. We have fiber terminal box next to the camera. Let's see what we have in this box. This is the composite fiber optic cable coming from the control room. Remember, there's a power and the optical signal. The DC low voltage power is connected to this brick, then this surge protector. If the cable absorbs the surge, the surge protector will release the surge to this ground path. We have the short patch cook to lean this copper to get the fiber optical signal from the control room. This is the short patch coat linked to the next device, and this is the clean DC output. Let me turn on this switch. Then this is the outdoor media converter. It will convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. We have the DC input and the optical signal and the PoE output. Just one thing I want to remind, this media converter accepts the voltage between DC24 and DC56 so it can deal with the voltage drop. Now the camera is getting the power out and also the signal. That's the setup for one camera. We need to repeat this setup for another 19 cameras, then the system will be up. We are using the fiber optic cable and the composite to send the power to this media converter. Can we also use the k 5 Ethernet cable to build this system? We will find out in the next video.